Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 7, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7 Plus, and you have an issue where it's not reading your network card or your SIM card. Basically, it says up here, no service, or it's constantly saying searching. I'm gonna give you a bunch of different methods to get your iPhone back up and running. Sometimes it takes one of these methods. Sometimes it's a combination of two or three methods to get it to start working. First thing is this, go ahead and turn your phone off. Press and hold the uh, power button or the sleep button here. Go ahead and slide it off. Wait about 10 seconds, then go ahead and power the phone back on. And then from here, hopefully you see your network name or your bar so that you know you're up and running. If it's not working, next thing I want you to do is grab your SIM ejection tool here. You can use this. You can use a thin like bobby pin or even a back of a stud earring if it's really thin. Just go ahead and insert it into the SIM tray, the hole right there. Go ahead and give it a little push. Go ahead and pop out the SIM tray. You can see the SIM card here. Take the SIM card out. And then what I want you to do is rub on the metal contacts with your thumb, okay? Just like rub it. You may even sometimes have to get like a napkin here. Just rub it a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and place it back into the SIM tray. Make sure that it is in there properly. Now go ahead and grab your phone and the hole where the SIM tray goes into. What I want you to do is blow in there really, really hard. Now, and your phone is still on too, okay? So go ahead and grab the SIM card, the SIM tray. Go ahead and place it in there. Push that in there giving it a minute or so, and hopefully it's gonna find your network. If it's not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Now for the next step here is what we're gonna do is force your iPhone to do a restart, okay? So for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, we do it this way. We're gonna press the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button, and continue to hold the power button until we see the Apple logo, okay? Again, iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Ready, volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. Do not let go of that power button, continue to hold it, until we see the Apple logo. I'm still holding on to the power button. I'm not gonna let go. I'm not gonna let go until I see that Apple logo. Wait for it to appear, it's coming, there it is. Now I can go ahead and let go and hopefully your phone is back up and running. Now if you have the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, it's a different key combination. You're gonna to have to press and hold two buttons down simultaneously. It's going to be the volume down button and the power button, okay? Volume down, power button. You wanna press and hold both buttons same time, Press and hold and continue to hold until we see the Apple logo. Okay, follow along here, ready? One, two, three, press and hold, the volume down and the power, power button. I'm still holding on to both the buttons, I'm not gonna let go until I see that Apple logo appear. I'm still holding, I'm not gonna let go. Okay, now I can go ahead and let go. Wait for your phone to boot back up, give it in a minute and hopefully you now have service. If you don't, we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step here, is go ahead and log into your phone here, go into your settings here, and then the first one up here says airplane mode, turn it on, off, on, off, on, and then turn it back off and give it a minute and see if it finds your network. If not, we're going, going to move to the next step. Next step is stay in the settings here, and this time just go ahead and scroll down to where it says do not disturb. Tap on do not disturb, and up here it says, do not disturb, toggle it on, off, on, off, on, off. Now give it a second and see if it finds your network. If not, we're gonna to move to the next step. The next step is go back into your settings here. And then from your settings, you wanna go ahead and you wanna go down to cellular, tap on cellular, and then on right here where it says sell data, off, on, off, on, off, on, give it a minute. Hopefully you will see your service back up and running. If not, the next option down here, cellular data options, tap on that, okay? You say I have roaming off here, data roaming off. You can tap on, off, on, off, on, off, and then leave it the way you usually leave it, okay? Some of you guys, may get charged for data roaming. If you leave it on there and it finds your network, you're gonna be charged uh, for roaming, okay? I, 
for me, I can leave it um, on because I don't get charged for data roaming uh, pretty much anywhere in the world. Anyways, leave it on the one that you prefer and then just go back and hopefully it finds your service. If not, we're going to go to the next section here. So if it didn't find your network, next thing you want to do is go down here where it says network selection. Tap on that and right now it's, mine says automatic. Turn it off. Okay, now it's going to give me selection here. I'll turn it back on, off, on. And now I'm going to go ahead and wait a minute and see if my service is back up. If it's not, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off. And I'm going to wait for it to give me a selection. Hopefully you guys have this. If you don't, then you can just skip to the next step. Anyways, I know I have like T-Mobile. Then I would just select on T-Mobile, give it a minute, and see if my phone's back up and running. Anyways, I'll keep mine on automatic here. And if it's still not up, we're going to move to the next step here. Now the next step here, we're going to reset your network settings, okay? Tap on settings, and then from here, go down to where it says general. Tap on general, and then go all the way down near the very bottom where it says reset here. Tap on reset, and now watch very closely because what we want to do is a reset network settings. We don't want to reset all settings. We don't want to erase all content and settings. We want to reset network settings. So let me go ahead and tap on that. And then from here, you got to go ahead and enter your password. And then from here, if you look down here, I get this message here. This will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Now, what does that mean? First of all, you're not going to lose no photos or videos or anything like that. This is going to reset your network settings. So basically, when I go ahead and click this reset network settings, it's going to go ahead and reboot my phone. Once my phone is back up, I will lose all of my like Wi-Fi networks, my Wi-Fi passwords, and I'll have to go ahead and re-enter them. So go ahead and tap on that, and then uh, once your phone reboots, your phone should be back up and running. It should have found the service. If, it's, if it didn't, we're going to go to the next step here. So the next step here may sound uh, kind of crazy, but this has worked on other iPhones, okay? So first thing is this. Go ahead and press on your phone all in the back, especially where the SIM card tray is, okay? So you see the SIM card tray. Go ahead and press on it, okay? You basically want to press on the screen and the back, okay? So press all around there, all on the screen, all around. Turn it over as well, get it on the back. Go ahead and give it some pressure all around the phone. And now, I mean, if it's still not working, then I want you to do this, okay? This sounds crazy, but sometimes when you drop your phone and stuff like that, it'll get the, uh, your phone will actually find the network. Put it on the back of your hand, like on your palm like this, and give it a few whacks. Give it a minute, see if, you're, see if it found your network. If not, give it a few whacks again, and then see if it worked. Now, if that didn't work, then your last step is to try to do a factory reset. With a factory reset, you will lose all of your data and everything, so hopefully you have a backup on iTunes. You can just go ahead and restore your iPhone back to original settings. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can go ahead and search that on YouTube. There's a thousand videos on how to do it. It's quite easy to do. There's also a possibility that your SIM card may have an issue. What you can always try to do too is uh, grab your SIM card, put it into another phone, and see if it registers and it finds your network. Another possibility too, it could be actually something could be corroded or something inside of your SIM tray socket as well. Anyways, most of you guys are going to have your service back up and running right now. Guys, let me know what step worked for you. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.